Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're talking about the Silky Gomboy 240, so stick around. Over the past four years, I've carried this Baco Laplander saw as a redundancy to my cutting tool. Redundancy meaning more than one. The Baco Laplander Folding Saw. Retails for between $21 and $25 on Amazon, weighs 7.5 ounces, and houses a 7.5 inch blade. And truth be told, over the past several years, it's been a great saw. But I've noticed as the years go by and the older I get, the more I want things to be easy or simplified. Um, simple things like just cutting firewood. I want to get it done. I don't want to sit out there and just continually saw on something. Now, this is a great saw, and it's designed to cut wood on the push as well as the pull. However, doing that repetitive motion several hundred times because you want to stack a firewood or you want enough logs or branches to create a shelter, it becomes tiresome. So I began looking around for a better saw. And most of them I found were the exact same type, same value, um, and I wasn't impressed. However, a couple weeks ago, I got a chance to use the Silky 240 Gomboy, and I was immediately sold. The Silky Gomboy 240 retails between $41 and $50 on Amazon, weighs approximately 9.5 ounces, and houses a 9.5 inch blade. Now just like the Baco Laplander, the Silky Gomboy 240 is a lightweight, portable, packable folding saw, and for a whopping two ounces more, you get two inches longer in the blade. Now the Baco Laplander is designed to cut on the push as well as the pull along with downward pressure. And as you know, for doing that over and over and over again, you become winded. Now the real secret to the Gomboy is housed right here in the teeth. They're extremely aggressive, and I believe it's 8.5 teeth per inch. However, it's designed to cut only in one direction, on the pull. And because it's so aggressive, you're gonna get about three times the amount of work done with that one pull. So taking this branch right here, it's about two inches at the top, and we're looking about three inches or so on the back, I'm going to use a plumber's vise. So all I'm gonna do, I'm right-handed and take my right leg, I place it between my calf in the back of my thigh to stabilize that piece of wood. Now my free hand or my left hand, I can raise or lower it to stabilize it. Baco Laplander. This technique is excellent because you're actually cutting outside or away from your body. Stabilize my branch. Make sure we're wedged in there. It's not going to move. Now I can cut. Now the gone boy. Much faster.
and check out the spine on the back of this blade right here. Got a ferro rod. And the buckle Laplander. Welcome back. This is good to go. Now, don't misunderstand what I'm saying here. The Buckle Laplander is a perfect saw for someone on a budget or a beginner. It's going to do everything you want it to do and then some. You just got to put it in a lot more work. Now, if you have the extra $10 or $12, or you're looking to zip through some wood quickly, like say for a longer term shelter or even firewood for the night, then my choice is going to be the Silky Gone Boy 240, first time, every time. Thank you for your comments, views, support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.